Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard from God is torches used well thought out. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 17, 19 through 22. This is what the Lord said to me. Go and stand at the gate of the people through which the kings of Judah go in and out. Stand also at the, all the other gates of Jerusalem. Say to them, hear the word of the Lord. You kings of Judah and all people of Judah and everyone living in Jerusalem who come through these gates. This is what the Lord says. Be careful not to carry a load on the Sabbath day or bring it through the gates of Jerusalem. Do not bring a load out of your houses or do any work on the Sabbath, but keep the Sabbath day holy as I commanded your ancestors. So with this message, God is telling me, um, Yes, he has commanded us to keep the Sabbath day holy. Yes, he has commanded, he has asked us to spend that day with him, um, honoring him in whichever way that we choose to honor him. However, God did not call for nobody to go around bullying, harassing, and just basically bu bullying. Like somebody has been bullying people about the Sabbath day. Somebody has been trying to um, make people feel bad about like whatever it is. And, you know, in reality, yes, God asks us to keep the Sabbath day holy. Yes, God sees it. He takes it personal and it makes him upset if we do not keep the Sabbath day holy. But God did not call nobody to go around and um point out to every single person and seek judgment on nobody god did not tell nobody to seek judgment on nobody god did not go around telling nobody to go around saying well you're not supposed to do this and you're not supposed to do that and god said this and god like come on now okay you you god whoever this is this is not a situation where god has gave this person this message they go they relate a message and they leave people alone no this is not a prophet situation. This is a bully, bully. This is somebody that is persistent at harassing people, persistent at being mean to people, persistent at messing with people and using God's name as an excuse to do so. God said he did not ask you to do that. You relay the message and leave it be. God does not ask his prophets to go and stalk people. God does not want people um, claim, saying that they are a prophet of God and they're harassing people and running after people and chasing after people with their Bibles. God did not ask you to do that. You relay the message and you allow that person to choose what they are going to do about it. But it is not up to you. We all have free will. And in some cases, some of these people that this person keeps um, messing with, God said barking at, okay? <laughs> this is why I almost laugh. But y'all, God said this person is barking at people. God said this person is messing with these people and they do honor the Sabbath day. God said somebody is just messing with people that are doing right in his eyes. They're doing right in God's eyes. God didn't tell them no message for these people. And they just messing with them because they want to. And God says, stop it. That's the message. Okay. God said this person planned this out. This is not, this is somebody that just planned out to go and mess with people and bully people. And he is not happy about it. He, he is not happy about them doing this. He did not ask them to do this. Even, um, you know, if you are a prophet, God relays you a message, you give the person the message, but you don't keep on going back and messing with nobody. You don't um, try to shame nobody. You don't try to, um, like, it's not your job to be mean to anyone. God seeks judgment, not us. God seeks vengeance, not us. It, God is the, uh, the ultimate judge. And that's it. As a prophet, a prophet's job is to relay a message. Not to sound like a um, a record player. Relay the message and that's that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.